Good morning, everyone. It's great to be back at I.O. At Google, the past year has given renewed purpose to our mission, to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. We continue to approach that mission with a singular goal, building a more helpful Google for everyone. For over a decade, we've been pushing documents toward collaborative linked content inspired by the web. Smart Canvas is our next big step. And this fall, we're excited to bring Meet directly into docs, sheets, and slides for the first time. Today, I'm excited to share our latest breakthrough in natural language understanding, Lambda. It's a language model for dialogue applications. Natural conversations are generative, and they never take the same path twice. Lambda is able to carry a conversation no matter what we talk about. Let's see what happened when we talked to a paper airplane. What's the worst place you've ever landed? That would have to be in a puddle. I was just barely still intact, so I was stuck there for a few minutes. It was quite annoying. But it is still trained only on text. So we need to build models that allow people to naturally ask questions across different types of information. These are called multimodal models. For example, when you say, show me the part where the lion roars at sunset, we will get you to that exact moment in a video. Two years ago at I.O., I announced auto-delete. We have since made auto-delete the default for all new Google accounts. Now, after 18 months, we automatically delete your activity data, and this is now active for over 2 billion accounts. We want to free everyone from password pain. Password alerts will let you know if we detect any of your saved passwords have become compromised in a third-party breach and a quick fix feature in Chrome. The Assistant will help you navigate directly to your compromised accounts and change your passwords in seconds. Today, I'm excited to announce the TPU v4. A single v4 pod contains 4,096 v4 chips, and each pod has 10x the interconnect bandwidth per chip at scale compared to any other networking technology. Achieving our quantum milestone was a tremendous accomplishment but we are still at the very beginning of a multi-year journey. We hope to one day create an error-corrected quantum computer. And success could mean everything from increasing battery efficiency to creating more sustainable energy to improved drug discovery and so much more. You might ask, I've hiked Mount Adams, now I want to hike Mount Fuji next fall. What should I do differently to prepare? But search engines today can't answer it directly because it's so conversational and nuanced. Mom is changing the game. With its language understanding capabilities, it's highlighting that Mount Fuji is roughly the same elevation as Mount Adams. But fall is the rainy season in Mount Fuji, so you might need a waterproof jacket. You gotta scan the floor. Let's scan the area. Ooh, and yes. she's here. Ah. <laughs> she goes for the triple-double. This is very accurate. Nails it. <laughs> Around the world, people use Lens to translate over a billion words every day. So now, we're rolling out a new capability that combines visual translation with educational content from the web. For instance, you can easily snap a photo of a science problem, and Lens will provide learning resources in your preferred language. Advances in AI are helping us reimagine what a map can be. This year alone, we're on track to release more than 100 AI-driven improvements. We're adding prominent virtual street signs to help you navigate complex intersections. We're bringing it indoors to help you get around some of the hardest to navigate buildings. Google Maps will soon give you the option to take the most fuel-efficient route. At scale, this has potential to significantly reduce emissions and fuel consumption. More than a billion times a day, people are shopping across Google. Shopping inspiration often strikes when we see something we like in the world around us. When you view any screenshots in Google Photos, there'll be a suggestion to search the photo with Lens. You'll see organic search results that can help you find that pair of shoes or browse similar styles. Today, there are more than four trillion photos and videos stored in Google Photos. Soon, we're launching Little Patterns. Little patterns show the magic in everyday moments by identifying not-so-obvious patterns in the photos you take and resurfacing them to you. Beauty is personal. 
To face this challenge, we imagined Material U, a new design that includes you as a co-creator, letting you transform the look and feel of all your apps. Just this week, we crossed an amazing milestone. There are now three billion active Android devices around the world. So let's start by taking a look at our new UI for Android. We've overhauled everything, revamping the way we use color, shapes, light, and motion, inspired by Material U. We've got something new planned for Google Pixel, using what we call color extraction. The system creates a custom palette based on the colors in my photo. The result is a one-of-a-kind design, just for you. Samsung and Google have a long history of collaborating. And now we're combining the best of our two operating systems into a unified platform focused on faster performance, longer battery life, and a thriving developer community. To make smartphone photography truly for everyone, we've been working with a group of industry experts to build a more accurate and inclusive camera. We're making auto white balance adjustments and algorithmically reducing stray light to bring out natural brown tones and prevent the over-brightening and desaturation of darker skin tones. We've been working to make mammography better. And now we're collaborating with Northwestern Medicine on an investigative device research study to better understand how AI can apply to the breast cancer screening process. Technology can and should help close the equity gap. We were all grateful to have video conferencing over the last year but there is no substitute for being together in the room with someone. So several years ago, we kicked off a project to use technology to explore what's possible. We call it Project Starline. It's early and currently available in just a few of our offices, but we thought it'd be fun to give you a look at people experiencing it for the first time. Using high resolution cameras and custom built depth sensors, we capture your shape and appearance from multiple perspectives. And we have developed a breakthrough light field display that shows you the realistic representation of someone sitting right in front of you in three dimensions. By 2030, we aim to operate on carbon-free energy 24 seven. And today I'm excited to announce we are the first company to implement carbon intelligent load shifting across both time and place within our data center network. Investments like these are needed to get to 24 seven carbon free energy. And it's happening right here in Mountain View too. We are building our new campus to the highest sustainability standards. Over the past year, we've seen how technology can be used to help billions of people through the most difficult of times. It's made us more committed than ever to our goal of building a more helpful Google for everyone. I hope to see you in person next year.